Hi, Suzanne Stoddard here, and today I want to review Music Maker by Venkatesh Kumar and Vivi's. We'll take a quick look at the sales page to check out what it's promising, and then I'll take you inside the product to see what you're actually getting. I'll quickly show you any upsells, the pros and cons, then give you my recommendation based on my year's experience working online. So stay with me, okay, because there's some serious issues you need to know here before buying this product. And I gather you're here because you're looking for a way to make money online, right? Or maybe you've tried and failed time and time again. Why not let me help you create your own $100 per day affiliate marketing business? If you click on my link below, and quickly fill out this form, give consent, and click the big red button, you'll be taken to this page here. All you need to do is register for this free training and you'll discover how to build the foundations of a 100 per day affiliate business in just seven days or less. You'll get answers to questions that all beginners ask so you can finally get unstuck. Believe it or not, building a sustainable and recurring income is easier than you think. Okay, so let's look at the Music Maker sales page. It says here that you can discover how to ditch Spotify and Apple Music and launch your own music service by only paying once. Also gets you to stream and enjoy free unlimited music for life. It says it's beginner friendly, no annoying ads, no monthly fees. And I wanted to point out here what it says. Save money by canceling your Spotify subscription. So let's use a little common sense here. Don't people subscribe to Spotify to listen to their favorite music artists? Or if you were creating content with music for yourself or others, which is what they claim you can use this product for in this video, would you be using Spotify to find your background music? No, of course not. That's illegal. So I'm not sure why they figure this product would replace your Spotify account. So as you scroll down, you're going to realize that this is just another shiny object sales page that's trying to hype you up and giving you stats that have nothing to do with this product. They're trying to make it sound like you're paying so much for a streaming program. But when you get inside, you realize that the product has nothing to do with this sales page. Let's go inside and we'll take a look. This is your dashboard and all the tabs up top are the different tools that are in here. The first thing you'd want to do is look at the tutorials. And really, there are none. It's just one demo video set to music that is an overview of the platform, okay? So it really doesn't show you much. Back on the dashboard, the first thing that they show you are audios. Now, you'd expect to see a music selection that would allow you to quit Spotify here, right? Just like they said on the sales page. Don't people who subscribe to Spotify or Apple Music do so to listen to their favorite music? All that's here are 13 pages of music clips and sounds. These aren't songs. Sure, these might come in handy to create content, but what does that have to do with canceling Spotify? So all the different clips, they would sound like this. Okay, or here's another one. See, so they're all clips. They range from here's a 17 second one to a minute and one second. And you get, like I said, 13 different pages of various music clips, and some are just sounds. Next, you would go into Audio Library. And this is where you can generate different sounds in these 10 different categories. So let's say we want to try an acoustic sound. I had hoped it would bring up all of the acoustic choices in their library, but it just gives you one, and it sounds like this. And you can download it, regenerate it, or add to favorites. So if you click on regenerate, it just pulls up a different clip. You would have to keep regenerating one clip at a time until you find something you like. Because in the audio section, it doesn't really tell you 
what's acoustic and what's different. So you're either scrolling through 13 pages of clips like this or regenerating your clip here one at a time until you find something you like. So it could be very time consuming. Did you know that you can get a lot of your music clips for free online? Let's say you wanted something that sounded like space. If you go to pixabay.com and notice you have all these choices here, so you would pick music and search for space. Here are all of their different free downloadable clips that you can use for your own content creation. And at least you could search by keyword. So you know that everything that is relevant to the space keyword would all come up on one page. So much easier than trying to figure out which of these clips on these 13 pages are relevant to a space theme. The next tool up here is the background removal. Now all these tools here have really nothing to do with the music maker. These are just tools that they're assuming if you're a freelancer that you might use when creating content. So if we give this a try, I'll just drop a picture of myself here. And there is no training to show you how to use this tool. So I tried everything and just could not figure it out. I clicked on convert and it gives me a transparent background here, but it doesn't give my image on top of it. And I tried different things using all these little different tools and nothing worked. If you click download, all it says is that it couldn't be opened because the file is empty. So I don't believe this tool works at all. But you know what you can use? If you go to remove.bg online, and this is free for anyone to use, you could take that image, drop it anywhere on the screen, and voila, the background is removed. So all you have to do is download it, and it took all of two seconds. The next tool up here is Image to Sketch. And again, I found this quite useless. If I drop my image here, you can see that it turns my image into a sketch-like picture. And then I tried changing all of these options here. And notice that it does absolutely nothing. I don't know why these are here. I can even click off grayscale and it's not doing anything to the image. And notice there is no download button here. So if you wanted to save this image, you would have to save it to your desktop. Next up here is search. If you click on search images, what they have done is integrated this software with free online sites like Pixabay or Pexels. So if you search for images for dog, let's say, if you go to Pixabay and search for dog under images, these are all the different images that you'll come up. In fact, he uses this image here in his overview video. The other thing in here is to search for videos. So let's search for cats. And these are all the video clips that come up. But again, if you go back to Pixabay, search for videos, change your keyword, and there you go. The other choice in here is to search for sketch. But really what sketch means is vectors. So if you search, let's say for rabbit, these are the different vectors you come up with. And again, in Pixabay, if you search for vector graphics for rabbit, this is what you come up with. And these are the exact image that you see inside the software. Next are editors. So you have an image editor, and this is just a little piece of software that I see in many shiny objects. So if you use this sample picture as an example, you can add text, anywhere on the image, and it has all of these little tools that you can use. But can I show you something more powerful that you can use? And yes, again, it's free. You can sign up for a free account with Canva, which is an amazing editor, and I use this tool every day for my business. And in here, you have a choice of a lot of different elements. You can upload your own image if you want. You can add text. You can find free photos to use. And look at this, even audio clips, just like what's inside that software. And video clips. So this is an amazing tool that anyone can use online for free. And the editing features in here are much, much better than what you'd find here. And for the video editor, 
you actually have to download a software to your computer. Now I tested the one for Mac because I'm a Mac girl. And what you're actually downloading is called OpenShot Video Editor. And this again is something free that you can find online. And at least you're going to get the proper support and tutorials to use it if you go directly to their web page. Next is the screen recorder. This is just a simple little recorder. You can choose if you want to see the entire screen. I have two screens I'm using. Whether you want just a particular window or a Chrome tab. So let's say I pick the tab that we're in here now. I click on share and you can see that it has a big blue box around it. So this is actually recording right now. When you're done recording, this is your recording here. But this is the issue I had when I tried to download it. This is what I get for my download. It's not the video clip or a screenshot. It's just a whole bunch of garbly goop that is totally useless. Next up here are video templates. And these are okay. These are just a variety of different templates that you can download and edit with PowerPoint. For instance, I had downloaded the Logos intros templates. And if you click on the first one, this is what it is. Okay, so you can edit that inside PowerPoint to change the writing and add your own branding. Other than that, there is a support tab and the tutorials, which is that one video. Now let's take a quick look at their upsells. This was on the affiliate resource page that we had access to. Your front end is $17. You will then be brought to OTO number one, which is their unlimited version for $32. OTO number two is agency for $47. OTO three is their done for you setup for $197. And I have no idea what it is they're setting up here. OTO number four is the podcastio version for $27. And OTO number five is their reseller license for $97. Now, please be careful here, folks, because as usual, these pages are going to be very convincing. But as I showed you inside, all of these things you can find for free online, except for the video templates, and some things don't even work. So buying upsells to get an unlimited version, let's say, of this software is really not going to do you any good. So what are the pros and cons of this product? Well, to be honest, I could find no pros. This doesn't deliver what the sales page promises regarding not having to pay for Spotify or Apple Music. It's something entirely different. And the cons are royalty free. My big concern here is that they say these clips are all royalty free, but because this is a one-time cost software simply created to make the vendors money, I'm a little hesitant to believe them. They may very well be, but I'm not willing to take that chance if I were to make content or if I were to make content for any clients. Another con is that these are useless tools. Any of the tools inside here can be found for free online. And another con is to ask yourself, are you a serious content creator? Personally, I would never use a tool like this to make content for my business or for anyone else for that matter. It's low quality. It probably won't be up for long. And a serious content creator wants to use reliable, proven tools. So my recommendation is no, you should not buy this product. Wouldn't you prefer a much safer alternative? If you click on my link below, you will not only get free training, but a proven program that will help you build your own $100 per day affiliate marketing business. So thanks so much for watching my review today. I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, would you please subscribe to my channel? If you have any questions or comments about the software, just leave them below and I'll get right back to you. So until next time, keep doing your research. Cheers.